case through three counties, ending with the driver crashing right into a train. Thanks for joining us here at 530. I'm Mike Dardis. Good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palello. So tonight we've obtained several videos showing how this all went down on Friday. WLWT News Science Karen Johnson live for us outside of the Warren County Jail tonight where the driver is tonight. Hi, Karen. Yeah, hey, Cherie, that driver has been identified as 32 year old Jonathan Brown of Trenton. He did survive the crash, but he is being held here on the in the Warren County Jail. He faces several charges, including felonious assault. He's yeah, trying to. He's trying to take off. After hours of running from police and with multiple police cruisers on his tail, Jonathan Brown decided this would be his next move. Oh, he just hit the train. Brown is then accused of getting into a standoff with officers. Negotiations in the Miamisburg area lasted several hours before the 32 year old from Trenton finally surrendered. Police say Brown spent most of his day on the run. Several hours earlier, Franklin police spotted the truck he was driving and began chasing him south on 75. Coming up on Middletown Control. Speed, they're still hiding. And into Monroe. 210 to 229. What's your reason? Appreciate it. Stolen vehicle has also fled multiple times today from multiple agencies. He was involved in a missing juvenile last While on Route 63, Brown enters a left turn lane, but instead of turning, he can be seen heading west into oncoming traffic. He's in the wrong lane of traffic. He's still in the wrong lane of traffic. After turning onto Route 4, he's throwing construction barrels, turning at 240. While in a construction zone, Brown again drives into oncoming traffic. Jerry Couch Boulevard. He's going the wrong way in there. Police then terminate the pursuit. And you heard that Franklin police officer mention uh, that Brown was wanted in connection to a missing juvenile. Well, Butler Township police up in Montgomery County say yes, that juvenile was located in a hotel that Brown was also in, and that's what sparked all of this. Uh, they tell me that juvenile was taken into custody. They also located a second juvenile in the hotel. At this point, though, it is not clear what Brown was doing with those teenagers. Reporting live tonight in Lebanon, Karen Johnson, WLWT News.